As the menacing cyclone Biparjoy threatens Gujarat's coastline with its powerful winds and torrential downpours, the state's chief minister Bhupendra Patel took charge of preparations during a review meeting held at the State Emergency Operations Centre in Gandhinagar. At the same time, Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia inspected hospitals in Kutch to ensure the availability of critical resources like oxygen, ventilators and critical care beds. As the cyclone's impact may necessitate post-cyclone healthcare support, Mandvia sought detailed information on the preparedness of health facilities in the region. In an effort to protect lives and minimize the impact of the impending cyclone, the government has successfully evacuated nearly 37,800 people residing near the sea across eight districts of Gujarat. The evacuation operation specifically targets individuals living within a 10km radius of the shoreline. The Border Security Force has also braced itself to confront the challenges posed by the cyclonic storm along the run. Furthermore, National Disaster Response Force or the NDRF and the State Disaster Response Force or the SDRF teams have been deployed in Gujarat working tirelessly to ensure the safe evacuation of residents. Through awareness programs and announcements, efforts are being made to confine people to secure areas and their homes. Meanwhile, the Indian Air Force and Indian Army's Corps of Engineers have established task force units while surveillance aircraft continuously monitor the coast. Cyclone Biparjoy is expected to make landfall near Jakhau in Gujarat by tomorrow evening, accompanied by winds gusting up to 150 km per hour. In anticipation of the cyclone's impact, Western Railway has cancelled several trains between Gujarat and Mumbai. The India Meteorological Department has classified the cyclone as a very severe cyclonic storm with maximum sustained wind speeds of 125 to 135 km per hour, capable of gusts up to 150 km per hour. Its landfall is projected to occur on June 15, potentially affecting the Kutch and Saurashtra coastal regions, including parts of Pakistan's Karachi. Gujarat stands resolute, ready to face the fury of Biparjoy as the state's administration and citizens unite to weather the storm together.